Holy, oh no, I don't begrudge anybody an honest living, but that is enough to choke a bear with an oral fixation. I don't wear my chaps on backwards, kind of more like a overgrown chia pet. I'm old fashioned. I prefer to get kissed before I get f minimum three quotes, am I right? Maybe we'll find a version that's not a gem encrusted gems. Let's do 10 of those. Oh, well, nothing for it. For the third quote, we defer to the rogues gallery of mass murderers. Got to flash up the Fusion 360, see where Autodesk hit all, all of my data last night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight item bill of material. There's got to be a better way. Boop. Release the schmoo. Blurp. Baka, baka, baka. Three, four, five. That's a start. Make it only as complicated as it needs to be, but no simpler. We can do better. One, two, three, four, five. Same bill of materials count, but four off the shelf components. We can do better. One, yeah, that's just not gonna work. That's the Cockford Ollie right there. One piece, that'll never work. Hold my maple syrup. Keeping pace with technological advancements, the machining trade ought to be just called simply probing, or at the very least, the Efficient transmogrification of legal tender into tiny little chips. If I had the scars to prove it, you'd think I squoze this out of my own two cheeks. Look at that extrusion. Terrible. And what is it you do again? Oh, I'm a reminder that machines ain't gonna take the place of living. And what's a substitute for bread and beans? A hobbled veteran of endless probing cycles. You get to a certain point with your dance partner, you need to spice things up a little bit. This here is what's known as a fufun electric. Carefuling. Carefuling. I gotta get a tripod. This is just not at the level of work we are accustomed to here in the Empire of Dirt. Edit, VPS, probing, work offsets, vice corner. G54, contact. Because we're so close, I'll spare you the gory details, but I have uh, crash proofed this, run this, and uh, there was a couple little fuck ups, but I'm running it without coolant now, so there's still a possibility. Orntact. Hey, see that fucked up. It didn't probe properly. It's cutting the one side, but not the other. I'm gonna have to reprobe that. Surprise, surprise. This is just the adaptive 3D contour. Now we're gonna get in there with the 30 degree dovetail cutter. We're gonna do one or two, two passes, I believe, one roughing pass. I'm just gonna pause it here and we'll give her a little shot of wiener sliding.
Now to get this dialed in, you need to use either the wear or you kind of got to cheat so that it gets on the other dovetail. It mates with the male nice and tight. You'll see as we cut that slot, it'll open up. Now we're making a positional move. We're just going to put a little spot peck drill there where we're going to go in with a bigger drill just to locate it. Going in dry. Here comes the slitting saw, 1 8 thickness. It's going in real easy because it's doing a full depth of cut. And that's her. Just giving the old uh, stripper pole routine. Hot and ready, burst right out the oven. Uncut even, mind. That's, uh, you hear about the poor surgeon. Specialized in circumcisions. Didn't make fuck all, but he got to keep the tip. He got to keep the tips. Ugh. This is the rubberiest calamari I ever, well, stop me if you heard this one. Oh no, you've heard this one, I've said it before. I'll change it up so it's fresh. Twas once a surgeon named Keith who circumcised men with his teeth was not for treasure or sexual pleasure but to get at the cheese underneath. Ugh. That right there. She's fucking toit. Now this was drilled up to 3.8 so it's essentially a clearance hole for this but you still got to thread it in. It's just not engaging on the taper. Reasons. Now we'll get right midstream and it'll start to tighten up. If we were smart, we'd pull that out and put some grease on her. That's a big if. Shouldn't have to tighten this over much just until you hear the crack and then back a quarter turn. The thing is about a tape, so the, the threads are a helical wedge and then you also have the fact that you're wedging it in there and it pushes this flexure over clamps the thing. Now this is the worst material possible for this uh, extruded aluminum 60, 60 series. And you put this stuff in a vise, you bend it over, it breaks. It's terrible. You'd be better off with probably a, well, a steel or a, a 50 series, but you got to piss with the cock you got. Uh, well, we didn't hit her out of the park on the first pitch. It's cocking over a little bit it's rocking you got to put a fair amount of force on it but it is moving and i think it's because it's point loaded in one section here so what we're going to do is machine it out so it's contacting on uh, two points over here two points over here or maybe one point here and two point yeah so fatigue limits now aluminum is the worst possible material for fixturing it's only really good because it's light and it's reasonably cheap. Steel is a far superior me me metal. If you look at the loading characteristics and the fatigue limit, given a certain level of loading, that is how much stress is in the material and pounds per square inch, we can cyclically load it and it continues to get weaker and weaker and weaker. Steel doesn't do that. Steel drops off and then it levels off where it doesn't get any weaker. There is a fatigue limit. With aluminum, there really isn't an appreciable fatigue limit. The more that you cycle it, the weaker and weaker it gets. Now, are we going to be into 10 to the 9 amount of uh, cycles on this guy? No. And for the cost of it, 10 bucks worth of material, 10 bucks worth of machine time, millions of dollars in research and development it's not really an issue now there is a problem here and i don't think it's the amount of clamping i think it has to do with the way it's clamping 
it seems to be point loaded on the one side and it's allowed to cam over rack over you see that opening up there I'm putting a lot of pressure on that but it is opening up so i think just as a quick fix just to try it we'll machine this jaw this dovetail so it's two point and then we'll have the single point over here of course the tripod is quite stable and then if you have four points of contact like a table uh, she's going to be weeble wobbling all over the place yeah, what happened to try yeah i stuck her in bridgeport mode and it's been so long i lost my mind and we got four points of contact like i said and precise look at that now whilst we test her out if you have any uh amendments or better ideas for this please go ahead and put them in the doobly do i'll put a stl file up on a github repo if you want to print it out unfortunately Autodesk there is some conjecture as to the header information in the file. Now there's a, a fog of war, there's a lot of ambiguity there pertaining to patents and patent infringement and patent protection and so forth. In my opinion the patent system is wholly uh, bankrupt, it's wholly corrupt, it protects big guys, not little guys. So if you have a world shattering a turd polisher that doesn't turn a polished turd into diarrhea and you want to patent something you're a small guy you're going to spend thirty thousand dollars you get a cut rate attorney to do it you get what you pay for and then the patent isn't defensible the patent does not it's it's just another tool in the quiver if you have to go to litigation and ultimately the the whether or not there's patent infringement lies the onus lies on the magistrate and it never even generally gets to that point where it, it's an open negotiation between teams of lawyers and you're paying for it. So for small guys, patents don't really work and that is why when there's anything remotely interesting that I do, I always just publicly disclose it and that becomes prior art. And uh, maybe I'm a fool for doing that. Yeah, you know, information, it deserves to be free. So. If you see something what's way overpriced, eh, you're going to make one or two for yourself. Is that hurting anybody? Eh, eh. A thousand doll hairs for a chunk of aluminum. They got to be paying some lawyers in there somewhere. So I appreciate your, uh, your help with the legal aid fund. I've also always wanted to make a t-shirt, you know, bars, the old dirty deck beaters free bumblefuck. Yeah, you know, I think that could be a fairly popular t-shirt. Let's see if we can't get this fucking thing to start spinning a thing in here. What are we doing? Program. Cycle start. Well, that sucks. That didn't work. But the interesting part is finding out why it didn't work. And we have some clues. It's the single point of the tapered plug. Looks like the jaw was able to tweak out this way enough to get this. That's still in there good. Lucy, you've got some iterating to do. Look at this. Surprise, surprise. First time around, didn't chooch. It's like it's not even on TV. So, I pause it to you. What improvements can we make to actually make this work? Some things you gotta learn the hard way. When you're looking at slots, two plugs are tighter than one. Yeah. What happened there? My offset's not right. Two claw Try this again, shall we? Yes. It works! It's working! The exception what proves the rule. It wasn't the dovetail. It was the serrated jaw. Popped clean Oliver. Pretty aggressive cutting. Oh, fuck yeah! Just fucking giving her, boys.
Thanks for your considered opinion and keep your dick in advice. <laughs>